everybody. Sorry, I missed your practice yesterday. I actually did go for a run. Uh, we'll talk more about that. If you want to give some running tips, not that I'm a great runner, I do okay. It just started. I don't know what kind of day is it today. I feel like because I didn't do yoga today, my back pain is creeping up. So again, I think I'm gonna do some back focus yoga. Come in standing pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Back bend. Four fold. Probably people, well, people can't tell of course, but I am, my room is like extremely hot. Almost just like I'm doing hot yoga in the door was closed, so the heat just go in there. Anyway, four fold. Step or hop back. Cheers. This one I got to see properly. So we are in black. Down dog. your side. Come out. Stretch the other side. Come out. And then full body stretch. Forward fold. Step out of back. Up dog. Down dog. Left leg up. Left leg forward. Right leg forward. Forward fold. Step or hop back. Up dog. Stay in up dog for a little bit. Um, because it's good for our back. Just mentioning, I think I have slight back ache today. So I'm going to try to circulate some blood, do some stretches and bends. Let's try to look behind. Uh, turn around on your shoulder and try to see your feet. Come face center. Now look above the other shoulder. And uh, Come to child's pose. Stretch yourself as much as you can in child's pose. Move to one side. Move to the other side. Come in the puppy pose. No, open one side, thread the needle, come to center, open left side, thread the needle. to puppy pose again. Maybe you can take it to a heart opening puppy where your chest touches the ground and your chin touches the ground. If you can't do it, that's also fine. We are going to bring ourselves back to or bring ourselves to cat pose. 
So for that, come to neutral tabletop. Breathe in. Cat. Breathe out. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. to neutral and uh, do some balance as usual right leg up left hand up stay here we're gonna take it to the side put the legs to the side and hand to the side I can't move my hand towards the side so I just have to keep it to the side and not move but you guys one two three four to the other side. First, hold the balance. One. My laptop is acting very fishy. to come to our back. First let's come to a boat pose. Uh, you know different variations there is. You can start here. It just feels good. Let your hand go. Let your legs straight. Look at your toes. Have your uh, close the outlook. A lot of noise. Stay in boat. And then from boat, come to Sutta Vada Ganasana, a bound angle pose. Um, have your pelvic straight and recline. Come out. Let's come to bridge, you know, sort of bridge. If you have a block, put a block. We're gonna squeeze the block. It's a low bridge, you don't need to hike up your hips like crazy. Concentrate on squeezing the block, waking your thigh up. If you don't have a block, squeeze an imaginary block. Try to see if your hips wake up. Squeeze the block really hard. That's that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Squeeze it. Nice. Let's come to a nice gentle inversion. And from here we're gonna engage our lower back. Lift down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, come out. I shouldn't be looking up. Sort of blinded because my cam lights are ridiculously strong. Oh well, such is life. We will now go to dolphin pose. To see if this is any better. Usually I squeeze my palms and see if having a block is any better. So I put a block in between my thumb and the other finger. Let's see if it helps. You can squeeze your palms if you don't have a block. 
come to mm, dolphin pose. Look forward, get out of your shoulder, squeeze your midline. Actually, try for my palm of my thighs. I'm gonna do that one more time. Just I have more control of this palm because I've been practicing. So you guys stay in dolphin if you don't want to try pinch my rasana. I'm gonna make another attempt on pinch. Get out of my shoulders, squeezing my palms, tightening my core, looking forward. Right. Come to child's pose. Come to down dog. Leg up, right leg forward, warrior one. Warrior two, reverse your warrior. Let's spend some time in our reverse warrior. Side angle, triangle. Half more. Asana. Mm. Asana. Standing split. Then do a couple of hops or hands down. That was nice. That was a good flow for me. Right back to down dog. Left leg up. Left leg forward. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Side angle. Triangle. Half moon, Chapasan, Nantavasan, Standing Split, and then or hop. Okay. All right. Back to down now. And then from down now come to plank. Right arm, right leg to nose, right leg to left arm. Let's go back. Left leg to left arm, left leg to right arm. Sorry, left leg to nose, left leg to right arm. Let's go back. Down dog. Let's come to an eagle leg. And then slowly using your hand, get up. And bring yourself to a Eagle pose. Squeeze your midline. Come on the same way. Mm. 
Now the other side. Do an eagle leg. Gently, one step at a time with your hand. Get up. Eagle arm. Squeeze the midline. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then go down again and count it down. We want to focus on our back. So we're gonna do some back bends. We're gonna do camera pose. Rostrasan. Make yourself long, if that makes sense. Yeah. Stretch the line. So when I'm coming down, instead of just hopping to that, you make a bigger arc. So opening your chest, and how can you make the line of your body longer? Long lines. Nice. You don't need to touch your heel, you can Leave hand on your back as well. Come out. Gently come to Vyasana. We're gonna go back to camel pose. Um, we're gonna take it one more up. You can just go to gentle camel and stay there, or do a full camel, or do inverted camel, which is right hand gonna touch the left heel. I'm going to do that. So this is my right heel, right hand, and this is my left. Left heel, but with right hand. And then the other hand is just back. It's slightly exaggerated back then. With a slight twist. Gently come up. Now we'll do the other side. First, I put left hand on left heel. My left heel is going to shut down again. I don't know what it's going on. But if you saw with some. So I'm going to go straight to the opposite one and have the hand back. This is a nice way to also do a back. Gently come up. Uh, we are not done with camel. Now again we are in full camel but then keeping the curvature so you have a back bend. Can you come down on your elbow? And let your head hang. And then once you're done, come back. And if you don't want to do any of this bakwa, it's completely fine. Just do a basic camera. I know it's not bakwa bakwa, but you know what I mean. All these are just for entertainment. Don't, don't get fooled by it. It's not so important that we do advanced poses. Alright, we'll do some spinal twists. Um, spinal twists are so great that I almost never forget to do spinal twist. One leg folded, the other leg on top. Uh, we are gonna focus on it, meaning we'll do two rounds of it. One round is just gonna be a gentle one. Looking back. Come to center. Change your legs. center, switch your leg, this time you either do central twist or if you want you can do a bind and do that. Come back.
true. Um, what do I want to do for you? Boom Kasana, where your knees are stacked and then you hook your, I can't see my back, but I'm essentially doing this hand. If you can't hook your fingers, you can just get hold of your t-shirt. So actually, I think my shoulders are also suffering from where is my strap? But anyway, I'll do some, some shoulder stretches regardless. Uh, so this is gonna be going so we're gonna do we're gonna stick our tongue out and say and eh, and then also refine. Eh. Very fresh and ready. Yeah, I think I can never be a professional yogi because all this will make me smile and laugh. You know, I find it silly, but I know it's good and it's fun, so I do it. But I can't stop smiling. So someday I'll stop smiling and laughing. Or I hope not. I, I hope I keep smiling. All right, so now we are stacking our knees on the other side. And we have hooked our fingers. We're going to stick our tongue again and say, eh, and recline. A little on the shoulder just because my shoulder is not feeling too great. So come on your belly. We're gonna do back and shoulder together. We're in sphinx. You can stretch your arms. Come down. Let's come to baby cobra. Come down. Let's come to salabasana. Down. Land on your chick. Now we are going to come to a bow pose. <sighs> nice. Now we are done a shoulder stretch. Stretch your right arm, then roll your body, and then try to. Oh, people love it, but you can actually see it. Basically, my left hand is going to try to touch the right. Where is it? Oh, it's here. And then if you want to make it a little bit more intense, you can rotate your body more by coming in this um, knee folded position, but that's optional. The main goal is just stretching your shoulder. This feels really good for me. Nice. We are going to do the other side of shoulder stretch. So arms extended. Rotate. Time to cool down. Again, I don't know how time flies, but it does, unfortunately, every day. I wanted to talk a little about running today, but um, let's see. So we're in Jana Sirsasana. We are going to, we must do staff pose. That's very good for our back, and I wanted to work on our back and shoulder. So hold on your extended leg. So what I wanted to, now we're going to do a side stretch. So we'll talk about today, I went for a jog, um, that's not a big part of it, with my baby. I was not carrying him, I was carrying a stroller. So I felt like this is a really good tip for new mothers or, you know, mothers of young children. Children might be hard if you have one child. Maybe you can do double stroller if you have children. But you know, you, you can take care of your baby, they're having a good time. Alright, come out. Extend the other leg and repeat. 
and you get some workout, you get, get to run, and that feels amazing all this. Um, pro tip though, if you are running on pavement, please wear like very uh, well made running shoe with thick soles and all that, no side steps. And best is to actually, if you can land on your toes, so you can minimize the, come on, impact. I did say that we need to do staff pose, so we're going to do the staff pose. Staff pose is really tricky for me. If I overstress, I get a muscle pull. But I'm going to try to see if I think I'm warmed up enough, warmed up enough to not get a muscle pull. Um, so this is staff pose. You can just hook your big toes as well and then you can. going to do a full width so if you did bridge actually no bridge in the middle of the class so let's do full width come down I'm gonna do one more full width Feel free to do bridge if you don't want to do full width. I think if you guys follow me, you know that I actually prefer bridge than full width because you know towards the end I don't feel like exerting energy anymore. I just want to relax. But since we are trying to work our back out, actually bridge is also really good for back. Legs up. Uh, if my laptop closes, I can just quickly wait. All right. So come to Jetlin version. You go to Halasan. Slowly. Come out. Come to a fish pose. Also would borrow back. Anytime your back is doing something other than normal activity, is, you know that it's good. The normal activity is sitting in front of your computer. Let's add super and twist. Come to center. Super and twist on the other side. Come to Sabhasa. Come to a fetal pose. Come up. Let's close our practice with a round of breathing. Oh. 